for one entire day. Just mothers, just mommy, just mom, good old mama. Just appreciate mama for one day. Just one day of the year. Apparently that's too much to ask for. This is a new ad. There's a little trailer for it right here that we're gonna watch. Hey y'all, Brylan here. Today I wanna talk about this new article that came out about, remember that Peanuts cartoon that was really fun? You know, uh, Charlie Brown Christmas, all that kind of stuff. Just so much fun for the whole family. What a wonderful time we've all had with Peanuts, right? Well, Peanuts Mother's Day special declares some kids have two moms amid media push for LGBT inclusion. Yeah, you know, um, Peanuts, that that uh, little kids, that, that children's uh, cartoon. But before we get into all this, let's hear from the sponsor of today's video. Today's video is sponsored by the Daily Grace Company. What a wonderful company this is. They have prayer cards, Bible studies, devotionals. They have all kinds of things to help you grow in your faith with Jesus. And as well as, check this out, Bible highlighters, pastel. If you want some goodies to help you grow in your faith with Jesus Christ and help you walk with God, then check out the Daily Grace Company. There's a code in the description below where you can get 15% off your order if you use it and use our link. That'll be in the description below. Go check it out. Hey, real quick, can you hit that subscribe button and join this community? I would really appreciate that. As well as hit that thumbs up button. Like this video. I'd appreciate it. YouTube will share it with more people if you do. Thanks. Hey, y'all. So, yeah, crazy world, right? I mean, we have peanuts now, apparently... Uh, everything has to be this way. Everything has to be this now. Snoopy presents to mom and dad with love. So now Mother's Day is now Mother's and Father's Day, which is great. So now do we can't do we cancel Father's Day or do we just cancel Mother's Day? So now it's impossible to just love and appreciate mothers for one entire day. Just mothers, just mommy, just mom, good old mama. Just appreciate mama for one day. Just one day of the year. Apparently that's too much to ask for. This is a new ad, uh, it's a trailer. There's a little trailer for it right here that we're gonna watch, but it says, an upcoming Apple TV special featuring the characters from the Peanuts comic strip will promote same-sex families in the latest example of children's programming incorporating LGBT-related content. On Friday, Apple TV released a trailer for an upcoming Mother's Day special titled Snoopy Presents to Mom and Dad with Love. So much love. So here's the ad right here. You know, you got Snoopy on his red house, which is always, just, it's just an iconic scene. Am I right? Uh, the trailer lists some tips on celebrating Mother's Day, accompanied by video footage of Charlie Brown's attempt to provide his mother breakfast and cake for the holiday backfiring. Of course it's going to backfire. Everything with Charlie Brown backfires. That's a part of the charm, right? So this is clearly geared towards children, as Peanuts has always been. It's always been a child's comic strip. Adults have loved it as well. Don't get me wrong. We all love Charlie Brown's Christmas story. We we all love reading the, the Peanuts comic strip, but Charles Schultz, the creator, really desired to create something for children and the entire family, but really wanted children to have something that they could laugh at and appreciate. And I don't think Charles Schultz would be down with all this stuff going on today, but let's check out this trailer and see is there if, if there's really anything that bad in it. All right, listen up. What you're about to see is some real welcome soccer football. See it up. <laughs> <laughs> the line at the candy store sure was backed up due to Mother's Day tomorrow. I can't believe I almost forgot Mother's Day. <laughs> Oh no. Bed wasn't messy. Good grief. Dear mom, thank you for my school lunches, especially the bologna sandwiches. Not so much the tuna fish. <sighs> so right off the bat, you're seeing, I mean, this is this is classic 
peanuts. Classic Charlie Brown. I mean, it's just, it's fun, it's endearing, it's loving. There's, you know, all kinds of antics going on. You, you love it. You do. You're, you're, you, you connect with it. I got my mom an ice cream cake for Mother's Day. <laughs> Apparently Mother's Day is not her favorite holiday. I don't know why you're so upset. Because you missed your mom? I never had a mom. Maybe you miss what moms do. My dad does all that mom stuff for me. <gasps> for Mother's Day, I'm going to celebrate my dad. <laughs> okay. So, and then it comes up, celebrate the person. Okay, so first of all, they're saying how, you know, I, I never had a mom, so I can't celebrate Mother's Day. So so sad, so down. And that is sad to not have a mother on Mother's Day. I, for one, can speak on this. I grew up without my mother. My dad raised me, my brother, by himself. And he did the best, the absolute best he could running his own business and raising me and my brother. I knew that my dad loved us, but my dad wasn't my mom. My dad was my dad, and he did everything he could to be my dad and to raise me as my dad. My dad couldn't replace my mother. Mothers can't be replaced. Mothers and fathers are unique in their role and in their identity. Uh, this, the, it's unfortunate when there's a family that is broken up and doesn't have a mother and a father. I, I still deal with the repercussions of not having my mother to this day of, of a lot of the pain and, and issues that I went through of not having that and causing anxiety and low self-esteem. I have, I have dealt with all that my entire life. And by the grace of God, I have come through and, I, and I've been able to trust in my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And he's given me the strength to not only forgive my mother, but to really come out of it and not be impacted in a way to where it's destroying me. Instead, I try to use it to reach out to others and to be an example to others that Jesus is a healer. And it's through Jesus Christ that we can find healing and that he can fill that hole that was left by not having my mother that doesn't need to be filled by my dad. It can be filled by Jesus Christ. And that's what we're missing here is the love of Jesus. I'm not saying that if you just have your dad, you can't say, hey, thanks for being the only person in my life that's taking care of me on Mother's Day. I mean, that's, that's great. Be thankful all the time. But there's nothing wrong with having Mother's Day and it being about mothers and the sacrifice that mothers make. Let's keep watching this trailer. Moms, right? Of course. Some kids have two moms. And you think it's like me. Can have some... Okay. Some kids have two moms. This has nothing to do with Mother's Day. Do you, do, you, do you get that yet? Do you understand that this has nothing to do with Mother's Day? It has to do with trying to get children to believe a certain way. And essentially to cancel Mother's Day. Because one, remember, these same people don't even believe that there's a such thing as a mother. Because, you know, mothers and fathers are usually gendered roles. This has nothing to do with actually wanting to promote Mother's Day. And, get, and, and give mothers the attention and the affection and the thanks that they deserve for being strong in a unique way. Mothers are irreplaceable. Fathers are irreplaceable. You, you can't replace the dynamic of a father and a mother raising their children. Genesis 127, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. We were created in the image of God, male and female. There are differences between us. And we were created to fill certain roles. The Bible tells us that children are given as a heritage from the Lord. They are a gift from God. And how do you have children? Through a man and a woman coming together and doing what only a man and a woman can do to have children. In Ephesians 6, 1 through 3, children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. And then check out what this says. Honor your father and mother which is the first commandment with a promise. Do you see the weight it's putting on this verse here? This is the first commandment with a promise. That if you obey honoring your father and your mother, you notice it doesn't say fathers and mothers. There's no S's anywhere. There's no s. There's father and mother. That it may be well with you and you may live long on the earth. 
God is promising us that if we honor our father and mother who are unique in their roles, that we will live long on the earth and we will live well. We're seeing a correlation here between our society going like this and households with a father and a mother going like this. They're both doing that at the same time. Why? Because when you have a father and a mother, the security of that house and that child goes through the roof. When you see the, f the, the, the family unit in its original form, a father and a mother start to break down, start to be attacked, you see society as a whole start to crumble. Hey, you know what? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button and subscribing to this channel, I would love to have you part of this community. And as well as if you hit that thumbs up button, YouTube can push this video out to more people. I would really appreciate that. Thanks for liking this video. And hey, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.